All right, I went ahead and redid the garage. So I had all my oak slabs right here. Went ahead and moved that to the wood line. And then I moved all my mechanic stuff here. I uh, got my joiner there. This is my oil. Um, basically all my fluids and oil change and stuff like that is on this cart. And then my woodworking stuff is basically all right here. So this is my woodworking toolbox, my table saw, and then some other stuff stacked up because I'm expecting a car to come. So we're just chilling until they come, ain't that right? Look at the Buster man. Hey man. Yep. We've been outside today and it's finally warming up a little bit, so the dogs are taking a break. Here's my little shag bar hickory. And my pin oak that I have over here is hasn't bloomed yet, so I don't think he's good. I might just let these um these red maples right here grow up. I got one there, one there, one there. Let's see what they do. If they start growing, if they grow taller than this pin oak stem, then I'll just let one of them grow up. Or either I might come down here, take this pin oak up, and put one of my trees that I have in the planter in there. It, either the walnut or the, um, which I think I got a small pin oak. I could just replace it, put the other pin oak in its spot. But I don't think this one's gonna. She's still bendy, so. No. What's up, girl? What you doing? What's the deal? Hmm? What you doing? Hey, but the man. You got some good morning kisses? And here we go, I got another one. This one here is the G888. So it is a clone of the MS-880. My bag with my tools in it. A little pre mixer. And this is the blue one. I don't think they make a um, orange one in the G888. And it's got a different puller. Get the manual.
And the reason why I got this one is I'm gonna make the G660 and just for felling. So I went ahead and put my um, 20 inch bar on that with my dogs and I'm gonna get a full wrap handle on it. And the reason why I got this one is because it holds more in the fill and oil tank. So this one, hopefully I will only use for when I'm using the chainsaw mill. That way then I don't have to refill as much as I do with the G6. So hopefully the G8 will help me. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna run a 25 to one mix for the startup, but I'll probably run a 40 to one mix in here just to where I have a little bit more oil. And I don't remember if it tells what to do or not. I think I've seen some guys only make sufficient fuel for a few days work do not exceed three months of storage gasoline's 50 to 1 minimum octane of 89 it just says 50 to 1 all right got the saw put together got the dogs on uh got the handle on and I was trying to figure out how I can get a 3 8 sprocket <clears throat> on this 404 um, clutch, but I can't get it to work, and I decided to do some research, and it seems like it would be a pain in the ass to do it. So now I'm going to have to probably sell my 52-inch, 3 8 milling bar and get a 404 because I want to make this all strictly for milling and then this all right here to be for felling. So I bought another 3 8 7 tooth sprocket today. Well, it was supposed to come in today and it's a steel. So I'll probably just leave this one off of that chainsaw, put the steel part on the Chinese saw and put that bar and chain back on. I am trying to sell this 20 inch bar because I'm probably going to do like a 28. I'm going to do a bar either from 28 to 36 inches, whatever I can find and or get a deal with. So I'm looking at different Japanese bars that I've considered and then if not, I'll just do a Forrester or a steel bar. They're, they're not that bad. Um, but now <clears throat> I've got to get away from the 3.8s and focus on the 404 because I don't have a bar or chain for this chainsaw now. But I'll figure I will go ahead and put some um, bar oil in it and fill and then just let it sit that way then i'll go ahead and start getting the motor um breaking in i assume that's okay to do without the bar it, it would just <clears throat> since i'm putting bar oil in there it would just leak all over the place but it'd be fun and i think i'm gonna do just a simple uh 50 to 1 mix so and then I think next time when I fill this up, I'll probably do like a 40 to one. I don't know yet. I haven't truly decided.
I didn't fill her all the way up. I just did probably about three quarters. Definitely takes some fill. I like that. The, um, the G6, it holds quite a bit of fill, but if you're trying to run a sawmill, I wouldn't quite recommend it. I can do a nine foot slab one and a half times. So literally after one nine foot slab, I have to refill and re-oil because I kinda don't wanna start on the next one and then have to stop halfway because I ran out of fuel. And I probably don't necessarily have to have bar oil in here. But I'm gonna put some in there anyways. Just to keep everything, I guess, lubed up. That way then I don't run nothing dry. And this is going to take a lot of bar oil too. Because I first started running uh, VP Premix. And then I was like, yeah, that's a lot of money there. So I started making my own mix. And I'm just using some Pennzoil Marine Two Stroke Synthetic Blend. And then I run, I think I'm running 93. Got her topped off. I guess we'll give our first start up.
Yeah, sit down. Yeah, get that butt rub. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down. Lie down. Lie down. Say, I'm nappy head. You got a brush, daddy? Nah, I just need your hand. Get that butt rub. Alright guys, got some news for the G6. I got a full wrap handle here and this came from the Dukes Saw Parts. I ordered it off of eBay. I think I paid $45-46 and this piece right here with the electrical tape, that's plastic and it's opened up right in there. So I just wrapped it a couple of times just to keep dirt and trash out of there and kind of just make it look more uniform it would probably be better if i could get some black duct tape and just wrap it because i know that that would be more durable than the electrical tape but i use electrical tape all the time and i love that stuff so but anyways i did a resharpen on this um 20 inch oregon pro light I just did a light sharpen because this is a fairly new bore. I don't know how much cutting I've done on it, but definitely not a lot. So, um, I would say about 85% of the chain was still really, really sharp. So I didn't have to do a whole lot of work. But um, yeah, I got the full wrap. And I put the 20 inch bar back on here. I think I'm gonna also order a 32 inch. And then I'm gonna order um, spools of 3.8. And I'm trying to figure out how to run 3.8's chain on my G8. So it takes a 404. And I'm trying to get everything to where it's 3.8 so then I don't have to buy four and four in a spool also so because that's about six hundred dollars for two spools and i'd rather get the spools and make the chain myself because you do save a lot of money doing that way <clears throat> it is a field cap but i put steel name brand caps on here so i got them for the field and for the oil um I uh, did order a 404 bar, which I guess I can take it on in there. So I did get a 404 bar from Archer. This is their Pro Max. 42 inch 404. Uh, 123 drive. So, and it did come with a free chain. Uh, it didn't cost a lot, but I don't like the um, ripping chain. I like a skip tooth because it's less, um, you know, chain that I have to sharpen. So that's, but it's not a problem. It's it looks to be a pretty good chain. I've been using Holtz Warmer chain, and I don't have really nothing bad to say about that, but I'm going to try out Archer, and then in the future, I'll probably try out um, GV, and because I want to know how to change the nose out to a 3.8, so that way then I can run 3.8 chain instead of 404. Because I plan on buying, you know, rolls of 3 8 and then I just want to put them up here. Because this is a 404, um, but a 0 .063. So all my other chainsaws are 3 8 by 0 .063.
So if I just change the nose here, I should be able to run the 404, which I might have to change the sprocket. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I, I reckon I'll have to change the sprocket. But right now I'm just gonna run what it calls for. So 404, and if I need to, I'll get another cha chain and make it skip tooth. And boom, just like that, another one bites the dust. Mm.